Hello, Edma. Hello, Cristina. Hello, Alejandra. Hello, Emma. Good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Hello, I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Hello. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Hello, Emma. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Fatima. Good evening. How are you today? I am very good. Thanks for asking me. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, the platform. Let's tell me about the platform. Did you complete section three and the meter? Could you finish? Yes. No. Yes, I finish. Ah, okay. Thank you, Cristina, Edma, tú, Alejandra, Emma y Fátima. Did you finish the exercises? No, teacher. Today no. I um, exercise three. Is section three. Yeah. Ah, okay. In the meantime, but we still have time. You can do it today or tomorrow. So do it, don't forget about this. We have to complete those exercises in the meter in this week, during this week. And today is Thursday, it's our last virtual session of the week. And today we are going to have a review of the meter test. We are going to study um, some of the exercises that you are going to find there in the meter exam. So we are going to have a review of the first three sections that we have already studied. So do you have any problem, any question on those exercises? No. no. How was Everything the is okay. Okay, that's perfect. Thank you, Christina. Good so, evening. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thanks. Uh, let's see. Bueno, el clima ahorita, pues, parece que no va a estar tan buena la noche, ¿verdad? En algunos lugares ya está lloviendo bastante fuerte. Si en algún momento este, nos desconectamos, tengan un poquito de paciencia. Le voy a hacer lo posible de reconectar. Eh, en caso de que algo suceda, esperemos que no. Ah, por acá me están escribiendo algunos de sus compañeros que sí tienen problemas. Para conectarse el día de hoy. So no problems, no question about the platform. No. Okay, that's excellent then. So let's Teacher. start with, yes, tell me, Juan. Eh, yo tengo una pregunta sobre el tema. Fíjese que me volvieron a mandar esta invitación a reinscribirme, pero yo la había enviado y me dicen que tengo que volverlo a enviar. No sé si será correcto o se equivocó el compañero que me escribió en WhatsApp. Um, bueno, este, me dejas, si quiere me escribe su nombre completo y su correo para yo poder preguntar cómo está okay, su perfecto. situación. Me escribe al WhatsApp personal, me deja su correo y su nombre completo, please. Teacher, a mí también me mandaron el, 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 el enlace como para que llenar otra vez, pero yo pensé que era para, um, para la 4. Ah, para el siguiente módulo. Bueno, igual, déjeme su nombre completo, Alejandra, please, y también su correo. Y yo voy a escribirle a los compañeros a ver cómo está su situación y yo les informo. Yo pregunté Hola. sobre eso, fíjese, Fiche, y me dijeron que era para preintermedio. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Estamos, ah, era preintermedio. Este es el Beginner 3. De que irían a preintermedio 1. Entonces Ajá. es para inscribirse al siguiente módulo. Ah, porque me dijeron, sería para el preintermedio módulo 1. Se notifica de esta manera para dar continuidad, me dijeron. Ah, ok. Pero igual, tenemos que averiguar cómo está el caso de Juan. Gracias, Carmen, por esa información. Entonces puede que sea eso, ¿verdad? Así que déjenme averiguar. Me dejan sus datos y yo voy a averiguar. Thank you, Carmen. Any other question? No problems. Ah, that's great. Okay, so let's start. We are going to start tonight with a listening part. We are going to listen 
some conversation and then we are going to answer some questions. So here we go. Let's go with this. This is our class number eight. So I'm sharing with you the presentation. Let me know, please, if you can already see it. Can you see the presentation? Yes, no. Can you see the presentation? Let me yes, know, teacher. please. Ah, thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much. So let's start with this. In this session, you are going to use the grammatical structure and also the vocabulary that we have already learned in the first three sections to complete some exercises. We are going to have a lot of exercises tonight. You are going to practice a lot. So here we go. Take a look at this conversation. Okay. Any new vocabulary in this conversation? It says, are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mars birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13, he's growing up. Yes, he's going to go on a high school next year. Any new vocabulary in this conversation? Growing up, teacher, what does it mean? Oh, growing up significa crecer. Okay. Crecer. Any other question about the vocabulary? If no, let's listen. Let's listen and then we're going to answer some questions. Here we go. Let me know, please, if you can listen. One. Can you listen? Yes. Sí, yes. Ah, okay. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. One. Are you going to do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Okay, I have a question for you. Now, whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? Whose birthday is it? ¿De quién es el cumpleaños? Whose birthday is it? Mark's birthday. Mark. Okay, it's Mark's birthday. Uh, how old is Mark going to be? How old is Mark going to be? 13. 13, 13. And where is he going to go next year? To go to high school teacher. He is gonna go to high school. He's gonna go on high school. Thank you, Juan. So let's listen again the pronunciation and then we're going to practice. So pay attention. One. Are you gonna do anything special this weekend, Julie? Well, it's Mark's birthday. Oh, great. How old is he going to be? He's going to be 13. 13? He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go to high school next year. Okay. Who wants to participate tonight? I need two people to practice in this small conversation. Just two people. Who wants? To volunteer, if not, I'm going to choose a victim. I need to be teacher. Oh, thank you, Christina. Christina and me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Edna. So, don't forget about the reduction of the sound. Gonna, so are you gonna do okay? Okay, so can you please start, Christina, please? Okay, are you gonna do anything special this weekend, Julie? Julie? Christina? What is Christina? Hola. Can you help me reading the B, please? 
little bit, little bit? Yes, please. Well, it's Mark's birthday. Okay, let's start again. Uh, Edma and Cristina. Edma, you are going to be A, and Cristina, you are going to be B. Can you please start okay. again? Okay, okay. Hey, teacher. All right, how is he going to be? He's going to be 13. Your microphone, Edna. A, A, little E or B? A, you yeah. are A. Let me show you. Uh, 13, he's, is he is yes. He's growing up. <laughs> yes, he's going to go on a high school next year. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Now let's listen. Ah, volunteers. I need two volunteers. The last two. The last two in this small conversation, please. Um, me, teacher. Okay, thank you, Juan. And? Me, teacher. Okay, Juan, can you please start? Okay. Are you going to do anything special thing we can do? Well, it's my birthday. Oh, great. How old is going to be? Uh, he's going, going to be. To, he's going to be 13. 13. He's growing up. Yes. He's going to go on high school next year. Thank you so much. Thank you, Cristina. Thank you, Edma. Thank you, Juan and Carmen. I really appreciate your help. Thank you for your participation. You did a very great job in this. So let's see, are you gonna, are you gonna do? So how old is he gonna be? He is gonna be 13. He is gonna go on a high school next year. So gonna, don't forget about that sound. One. In the next conversation, this is the second one. So let's listen to the second conversation. This is the second part. Two. So what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Okay, when's the birthday party? When's the birthday party? ¿Cuándo va a ser la fiesta? When's the birthday party? On, on Saturday. Ah, okay. On Saturday. Why not on Friday? Because everybody can come that day. Ah, okay. Uh, it is going to be on Saturday because everybody can come that day. Excellent. So, I need two volunteers. Listen again, please, the pronunciation. Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay. okay, thank you, Fatima. Fatima and? Fatima and? Me. Me, teacher. Alejandra, thank you, Alejandra. Fatima and Alejandra. Antes de que comencemos, let's listen again. Escuchémosla una vez más y después escuchamos a Fatima y Alejandra, please. Two. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? We're going to have a party for him. Terrific. When are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we're going to have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday. Everybody can come that day. Now, Fatima and Alejandra, can you please start, Fatima, please? Okay. So, what are you going to do for his birthday? Hey, hi, Kun. Well, I wanna, I have body for him. Tell me, please, when are you going to have it? Well, his birthday is Friday, but uh, where well, I gonna, I have the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? 
Um, Saturday, everybody, everybody, everybody come Sunday. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Fatima and Alejandra. Uh, almost perfect job. Thank you. Yes, this word. Everybody. Oh, Everybody people. can come Everybody that day. Can come, come that day. That day. Everybody. Okay, that's excellent. I need another two volunteers to practice in this small conversation. Me, teacher. Thank you, Alexandra and Me, teacher. Okay, give me a second. Okay, can you please start, Alexandra? Okay, teacher. So what are you gonna do for his birthday? We are gonna have a party for him. Terrific. When are you gonna have it? Well, his birthday is on Friday, but we are gonna the party on the weekend. On Saturday or Sunday? On Saturday, everybody can come have day. Thank you, that was excellent. That was perfect, thank you. Very good pronunciation. Thank you, Edma and Alexandra. Okay, let's go to the next. The next Two. one. So what are you gonna do for his This is the, tar, the third part in the last uh, part of this conversation. So let's listen what happened here. Three. What kind of party are you gonna have? Oh, well, we're gonna have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke. People stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke? He loves it. Okay, so this is what kind of party are you gonna have? Oh, well, we're gonna have a karaoke party. A what? You know, karaoke, people stand up and sing songs. The music is on a CD and the words are on the television. I see, so Mark likes karaoke. He loves it. So that is this conversation. Who wants to try? Who wants to participate tonight? What is karaoke? Karaoke? What is it? Karaoke. Okay, yes, it's karaoke. So have you ever uh, have you ever done this? Alguna vez han hecho eso? Karaoke? Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is it funny? Yeah. It's funny. Yes, it is. Ah, okay. That's interesting. Yes, funny. Debería de ponernos a cantar, teacher. Ah, I'm okay. Ya están anotadas, entonces el último día de clase van a cantar. Vamos a cantar. Please, please, tango. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that, that is gonna be a good activity for the last class that's great i'm going to take note about that so i need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation please don't forget about the gonna sound we are gonna uh, what kind of party are you gonna have uh, let's see the other one don't forget about that so juan and any other volunteer me teacher Oh, thank you, Alexandra, again. You're doing a great job tonight. Thank me, you. me, 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 me. Alexandra? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Juan and Alejandra. And Alexandra, do you want to participate? Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, is it okay if you participate in the second round? Okay. Okay, teacher, no problem. Oh, thank you, Alexandra. So, Juan and Alejandra. Juan, can you please start? Okay. What kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well, uh, well are you going to have a karaoke party? A what? 
Yo no creo que tú por esa rap and sing sundi. Music is um CD and the work are on the television. I see. So Mark likes karaoke. I love it. Thank you so much. Very good job. Thank you. Now, Alexandra, and I need another volunteer to practice. Nobody went. Hey, teacher. Ah, thank you, Carla. Thank you so much. Carla and Alexandra, please. Hey, teacher. What kid, what kind of party are you going to have? Oh, well. We are gonna have a karaoke party. A what? You know karaoke? People are not making songs. The music is on a CD and the world are on the television. I see, so they like karaoke. She loves it. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Just this work. A very good job, this kind. What kind of party are you gonna have? What kind? What? Karaoke party, karaoke party. Okay, so these sentences, is it present, future, or simple past? Esta conversación está relacionada con el presente, con el pasado, con el futuro. The future. Okay. It's the future. And to talk about the future, we use going to. Y el sonido contractado, gonna. Gonna. Don't forget about that, please. Okay, so I have some questions for you. Look at this. Can you help me to answer this? Are you going to have a Christmas party? So if it is green, the answer is uh, affirmative. If it is blue, the answer is negative. So are you gonna have a Christmas party? It's green, so the answer must be affirmative. Are you gonna have a Christmas party? What would be a good answer for this question? Do you remember? This is a just no question. It's a yes no question. Are you gonna have a Christmas party? So you say yes. Yes, I am. Ah, okay, excellent. Yes, I am. Yes, comma, I am. Yes, I am. Y la siguiente, is she going to buy present for her family? Is she going to buy present for her family? No, she, no, isn't. she isn't. Oh, no, she isn't. Are they going, oh, sorry, are they going to go to a birthday party? Are they going to go yes, to a birthday they party? Are. Yes, they are. Thank you. Is he going to decorate a Christmas tree? No, she isn't. He's no, not he. Ah, no, he. Isn't. No, he. Isn't. Sorry. Thank you. Don't worry. We are learning. A number five. Are we going to buy firecrackers? Are we going to buy firecrackers? Vamos a comprar cohetes para celebrar la Navidad. Are we going to buy firecrackers? Yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Is it going to be fun? Is it going to be fun? No, it isn't. No, it? No, it isn't. Very good. No, it isn't. So we are going to answer this question in this way. Don't forget about this. Yes, no question. Are you going to have a Christmas party? 
Yes, I am. Is she gonna buy present for her family? Yes, I'm oh, sorry. No, she isn't. Are they gonna go to birthday party? Uh, yes, they are. Is he going to decorate a Christmas tree? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. Are we gonna buy five crackers? Yes, we are. Is it going to be fun? Yes, yes it is. Oh no, it isn't. So now do you remember about the answer of this question? Ya se recordaron cómo responder estas preguntas? Yes? You are going to find some of this in the midterm test. Si ya hicieron el meter, habían unas parecidas, ¿verdad? Se repetía. Yeah. Ok, Alejandra, I understand. I am in the same situation. It has... Let me see this. Ok, let's go with the next exercise. ¿Se repetían las preguntas en el midterm? No me acuerdo que sí, pero no me acuerdo cuáles. Ah, ok. We are going to take a look at the midterm exam later. So don't worry. Let's go with the next exercise. What are you going to do next weekend? Any volunteer to answer this question? Me. Now, this, these are information questions. So what are you going to do next weekend? Alejandra, you say me? Help me, please. What are you going to the next weekend? Okay, thank you so much. So, any answer? What are you going to do next weekend? ¿Cuáles son sus planes para el próximo fin de semana? ¿Qué va a ser? And then you say, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna is, uh, play basketball. Okay, excellent. I'm gonna play basketball this night. I'm gonna play basketball. I'm gonna play basketball. Thank you. Any other answer? Any other plan? What are you gonna do I, next weekend? I gonna, teacher, I gonna meet with friends. Okay, yes, I'm gonna meet with my friends. Thank you. Me reuniré con mis amigos. Perfect. I'm gonna go to cinema. I'm gonna go to the cinema. Yes, thank you. Any other answer? I'm gonna play soccer with my friends. Excellent, thank you. I'm gonna play soccer with my friends. Any other answer? Okay, now let's see the next one. When are you gonna go to the I park? Gonna, I'm gonna cook. With my family. I'm gonna cook with my family. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent sentence. Any other? Any other sentence? Tell me, tell me. What are you gonna do next weekend? If no, let's go with the second one. When? When are you gonna go to the park? So when is asking for time. Cuando? When are you gonna go to the park? And you say tomorrow, next week, tomorrow. next month, next year. When are you gonna go to the park? Anyone? I am here? going to the park uh, the next the next Monday, for example. Okay, yes, I'm gonna go to the park the next Monday. Thank you. I'm going to go to the park next week. Thank you. I'm going to go to the park next week. Excellent. Any other answer? Then where? Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? This question is asking for a place. Donde? Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? I'm gonna I'm going in to my house. My birthday in my house. Okay, I'm gonna celebrate my birthday at my house or oh, at home. 
Excelente. Any other answer? ¿Quién va a celebrar su cumpleaños en un lugar diferente? Well, uh, where, where are you going to I'm celebrate? I'm going to celebrate my birthday in a restaurant. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very good sentence, Byron. Any other answer? Let's practice, guys. Let's practice. Remember. I'm going to celebrate on troop. Oh, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. My birthday the... on in the, in, in the church. In the church. Oh, okay. Okay, excellent. Una acción de gracias, something like that. Ah, okay, perfect. Anybody? Let's go with the next question then. Who are you going to invite to your birthday party? Who are you going to invite to your birthday party? ¿A quién va a invitar? Who are you going to invite? I'm going to ask my family. I'm going to invite my family. Thank you. I'm yes. going to invite my friends. Excellent. Thank you. I'm going to invite my friends. I'm going to invite my friend and my family. Thank you so much. I'm going to invite my friends and my family. I'm going to invite my girlfriend. Excellent. Excellent sentence. I'm going to invite my girlfriend. Anyone? The last answer, please. Just one more. The last answer. No, nobody? Okay, so don't forget about this question. Information question with going to. What are you going to do next weekend? When are you going to go to the park? Where are you going to celebrate your birthday? Who are you going to invite to your birthday party? Information question. So you have to get information. So thank you. You are going to find this on the midterm exam. And then we're going to have a review of this topic. How are you and how do you feel? What's wrong and what's the matter? So if I ask you, how are you? What is a good answer for that question? How are I'm you? Okay. I'm okay, thank you. Any other answer? How are you? How are you today? I am good. So, so. I am good. So, so, yes. And the other question is, how do you feel? How do you feel? Do I you feel to... good. I feel happy. Too. I feel good. I feel happy. Any other answer? I feel. So you have to say, I feel good. I feel happy. I feel angry. I feel sad. I feel tired. I feel upset. So feel. With feel. I feel anxious. I feel what? Grumpy today. Por todo ando gruñendo hoy. I feel grumpy. I feel stressful today. Okay. I feel stressful today. Thank you for your answer. Then I have the question, what's wrong? What's the matter? So look, how are you? So you say, I don't feel well or not so good. Para la primera pregunta, how are you? Puedo contestar, I don't feel well, not so good. Not so good. Not so good. How are you? Not so good. No, también. How do you feel? I don't feel well. Don't feel well. Uh, for the question, what's wrong or what's the matter? You say, I have a headache. I have sore eyes. Do you remember this part? ¿Se acuerdan de estas preguntas? Common illnesses. Yes. Teacher. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, you are going to find some exercises on the meter about this. So the question, how are you? How do you feel? What's wrong? And what's the matter? And the answer, how are you? Not so good. How do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a headache. 
what's the matter? I have sore eyes. I need to volunteer to practice in this part. Who wants to participate? Any volunteer? No volunteers tonight. Edma, thank you. We are going to new teacher. Okay, let's listen first, Edma and Fatima. So, Edma, you are going to read the equation and Fatima the answer. Can you please start? How are you? Not so good. Well, how do you feel? I don't feel well. What's the word? What's word? Mm -hmm. I have a headache. What's the meter? I have sore eyes. Okay, thank, thank you so much. Help me with this word. How do you pronounce this word, guys? How do you pronounce this? Headache. 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 Thank you. And what's the matter? What's the matter? I have sore eyes. Thank you. Any other two volunteer? Uh, me, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Juan and? Me, teacher. Thank you, Cristina. Thank you so much. Can you read the question, please, Juan? And Cristina, the answer. Huh? Okay, how are you? Not so good. How do you feel? I don't feel well. What's wrong? I have a headache. What the matter? I have sore eyes. Okay, thank you so much, Juan, Cristina. Thank you. Very good job. So any pronunciation problem, thank you. So here are the imperative sentences too, right? So if I, someone say, I have a headache. Si alguien dice, yo tengo un dolor de cabeza, you say, take an aspirin, don't watch TV, don't touch your eye, or put eye drop. ¿Cuáles de estos son buenos consejos para un dolor de cabeza? I have a headache. Take an yeah, aspirin. aspirin. Okay, take an aspirin, thank you. And if I say, I have sore eyes, I have sore eyes. What is a good Don't recommendation? Watch Don't watch TV. Okay. Don't watch TV. Any other? Don't just touch a uh, touch uh, eyes. Okay. Thank you. Don't touch your eyes. Thank you. Yeah. Don't touch your eyes. And the other one is a good option to put eye drops. Put eye drops. Ponte algunas gotas, verdad? Eye drops. Eye drops. Thank you. So, any problem with imperative sentences? I have, a, I have a diarrhea. Can you give me some recommendation? Take a pectobismol. Okay, <laughs> take pectobismol. Any other? Any don't other eat, advice? Don't fast food. Oh, don't eat fast food. Thank don't you. eat the fast food. Don't eat too much fast food. No coma demasiada comida chat chatarra. Thank you. Any other advice? I have a bad diarrhea. Llevo tres días así. ¿Qué puedo hacer? Ir al médico. ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, okay. <laughs> that is probably the best advice. Man. The best recommendation. Go to the, go to the doctor. Go to the doctor or visit your doctor. Visit okay. your doctor. That is probably the best advice. Thank you so much, Edma. So I have a stomach ache. I have a stomach ache. What can I do? For a stomach ache. It a pupil. Don't eat so much. Take a pill. Take a pill. Which one, for example? What pill is good for a stomach ache? Take alka seltzer. Ah, yes, an alka seltzer. And salandrus? Todavía venden uh, esa? 
Ya no. Yes. 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 Ah, ok. Ok, very good. So you can take Sal Andrews. Any other advice? I have a stomach ache. The last, the last advice. I have a toothache. I have a toothache. Don't drink cold drinks. Don't drink cold drinks. Thank you. Any other advice? Visit the dentist. Visit the dentist. Thank you. I'll go to the dentist. And the midterm test, there is this reading. Do you have any question about the vocabulary here? Home remedies. What do you think? Do they work? Do home remedies work? Funcionan estos remedios? Do home remedies really work? Many people say yes. And so another say no. So have you ever tried some of these home remedies? ¿Ya probaron alguno de estos remedios caseros? So let's see the first paragraph. A call. Any volunteer to read the first paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you, Juan. Cool. Cool. What can you do for a cool? Many people eat hot chicken soup. Other people drink hot water with red pepper, pepper, sugar, lemon, juice, and milk. Okay, thank you so much. So any question about vocabulary in this part? What can you do for a cold? Many people eat hot chicken soup. I know that it's delicious, but for a cold, does it work? Does the chicken soap work for a cold? Other people uh, drink hot. Yes. Para el frío, para cuando uno tiene frío, puede, tomar, puede comer o tomar diferentes tipos de comida? No. Um, yes, cuando yes. está resfriado. Uh -huh. En este caso son resfriados. Resfriado, ah, ok. So other people drink hot water with red pepper. Agua caliente con chile. Mm -hmm. Sugar, lemon, juice, and milk. Azúcar, limón, jugo de limón y leche. ¿Será? ¿Es una buena combinación? <risa> oh, no. Le puede curar la gripe, pero le va a dar otra cosa. <risa> So other people drink hot water with red pepper, sugar, lemon, juice, and milk. Bueno, ya saben, la próxima vez que se resfríen, try this. Try this home yeah, remedy. <laughs> and ahí me avisan si funciona, ¿no? <laughs> The next paragraph, a cough, a cough. Para la tos, any volunteer to read this? Me, teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Do you have a bad cough? Drink warm, warm tea. Drink warm tea, tea or take some honey. This can make your throat feel better. Okay, thank you so much. So for a cough, you can uh, drink warm tea and honey. Does it work? Funciona la miel de abeja y tecitos calientes? Warranty or yes, take some honey? Yes, yes. Yes, yes right? Yes, it works. For a headache, for a headache, any volunteer to read this paragraph? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carmen. A he headache. What about the headache? Put a cold cloth on your head or splash your face with cold water? You can also put your hands in hot water. This can help. Thank you so much. Imagine that. That's interesting for a headache. So put a cold cloth on your head. Póngase un trapito mojado en la cabeza. Or splash your face with cold water. Con agua fría. ¿verdad? Tiene que tirarse agua. Interesting. You can also put your hand in hot water. Mm, también puede poner sus manos en agua caliente. Oh. This can help. 
Esto puede ayudar. Ah, con la tercera tengo mis dudas. ¿Funcionará? Sí, teacher. Bueno? Sí, teacher, porque fíjense que si usted pone en, el, en algo caliente, como que el caliente le relaja y le absorbe lo que usted, le, le estrés, porque por a veces te esté sobre la cabeza. Ah, ok. So the hot water helps you to uh, calm the stress. And that avoid the headache. Very interesting. Thank you, Edma. And the last one, insomnia. Can't sleep at night. Drink a large glass of water, milk, or take a very warm bath. Does it work? Solo lo he visto en las películas. ¿De verdad funciona el vaso de leche? Yes. I have seen this just on movies. Have you ever tried this home remedy? No. Qué chivo, no le da insomnia. I don't know. Ah, okay. Pero sí funciona la leche para dormir. Ah, that's perfect. Thank you. So Or don't for, don't forget about these home remedies. They could save your life, especially the hot water with red pepper. Try it. El agüita con chile. Try it. Okay, now, do you have any question about this reading home remedies? Okay, now I have a lot of questions for you. Let's go to the midterm test and we're going to discuss some of the questions there. So, ¿quién ya hizo el midterm? Yo. Me, teacher. Ah, okay. Me, teacher. Almost everybody. So, let me see. What is it? Yeah, I am sharing my screen with you. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Can you see my screen? I am here in the platform, and this is the midterm exam. It has one, two, three, four, five. It has five exercises. The first one is a reading. And we have already practiced this reading. Do you remember the listening that we studied at the beginning of the class? The conversation that you practice were the transcript of these three conversations. So what is the answer here? Mar is going to be... Very good. 13, 30 or 33? Oh, ¿Se acuerdan de la conversación al principio de la clase? That is the transcript of this. So you say it's 13. 13. Okay, excellent. And they are going to have a party on Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. Saturday. 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 Why not on Friday? ¿Por qué no el día viernes? Do you remember that information? Why not on Friday? Because everybody works. Todos trabajan. In number three, they are going to at the party. Dance, sing songs, or watch television. Sing songs. Sing songs. Okay. Very good. Then in the next part of this test, this is the second part. You have to match the equation with the answer. Are we gonna work this weekend? What is a good answer? Are we gonna work this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm gonna go swimming. Ah, uh, you say, are we gonna are, work are, uh, this me. weekend? Yes, and I have the following option. Yes, No, I am. we are not. No, we are not. No, we are not. We're gonna... Relax. We're gonna to relax. Oh, we say we're gonna relax or we're gonna to relax. Gonna relax. Okay, we're gonna relax. Thank you. We are gonna relax. Don't forget that going to todo eso se reduce a gonna. Bueno. Bueno. Thank you. Bueno, vamos a ver si esa es la correcta. Are they gonna cook dinner? Are they gonna cook dinner? Are they gonna cook dinner? 
No, we are not. We're going to relax. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're going to make pasta. pasta. Ah, okay. Can you cook pasta? Can you cook pasta? Pueden cocinar los macarrones? Yes or not? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. I can. Yes. No, I can't. Okay. With tomato sauce and cream and also cheese. So are you going to exercise this evening? Are you gonna exercise this evening? Yes, I'm gonna go swimming. The first one you say it is? Yes. Okay, let's match it. Is Bill gonna do anything after work? Is Bill gonna do anything after work? Yes, he he is he's gonna visit uh, visit his parents. Is it in the right answer? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. Thank you. Are Pam and Andrew gonna have a picnic this weekend? No, oh, they are they a party. Oh, no, is it the last one? Yes. Yeah. Is it gonna rain tomorrow? Is it gonna rain tomorrow? No, it's not. It's, oh, it's going not. to be cloudy. It's gonna be cloudy. No, it's not. It's gonna be cloudy. Okay. Okay, very good. 20 of 20 points. That was perfect. Excellent. So I need about two volunteers to practice in this. Who wants to read the equation and who wants to read the answers? Me, teacher. And Edma, where are you? Yes. Okay, Edma and any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Carmen, thank you. Can you please start, Edma? Yes, teacher. Are we going to work this weekend? No, we're not. We're going to relax. Thank you. The second one, please. Are they going to cook dinner? Uh, yes, they are. They are going to make pasta. Okay. Third one. Are are you gonna exercise this evening? Yes, I am. I'm going to go swimming. Okay. Number four. Is Bill gonna do anything after work? Uh, yes, he is. He's going to visit his parents. Thank you. And the last, no, it is not the last one. Ben and Andrew gonna have a picnic this weekend? No, they aren't. They're, they're going to have a party. Thank you. The next, number six, the last one. It's gonna rain tomorrow. It's gonna rain tomorrow. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. Thank you. No, it's not. It's going to be cloudy. Thank you. So is okay. it going to rain? Is it going to rain tomorrow? In the question, rain. Is it going to rain tomorrow? Thank you, Emma. Thank you, Carmen. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next exercise on the meter exam. Uh, was it easy or difficult? Esta parte estaba difícil o muy fácil para usted? Easy. Easy, peasy. Okay, now select the WH. It says select WH question to complete the conversation. What is the right equation for the answer? Next summer, we are gonna go to Alaska. We're gonna. Where are you gonna go next summer? What are you gonna go next hour? Where are you, you, gonna next summer? Okay. Where are you going to next summer? Thank you, Alaska. Wow. We are gonna take a boat. How are you going to go there? 
Yeah, so it's how are you gonna get there? How are you gonna get there? Is it the yeah. right answer? Which one? Which is the right answer here? Okay, you are going to complete this, right? You have to do or have to take this test. So Alaska, wow, we're gonna to take a boat. What's the right answer? Where are you going to go next summer? Who are you going to go with? When are you gonna go? Or how how are you gonna get there? How, how are, are you going to get okay? Thank you. That sounds so exciting. That sounds so exciting. I'm gonna go with my family. What was the question? Who are you going to go with? Who are you gonna go with? Thank you. Also, great. We are gonna go on June twenty first. When are you gonna to go? When are you going to go? Thank you. When are you gonna go? When? It's asking for time. Okay, let's check it. 20 of 20 points. Perfect. Your score is perfect. Se sacaron 10 a la primera? That's great. Yes. No. Se a headache. So the instruction, complete the conversation, select the correct word. Is it feel, get, or have? Have. 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 The second one. This feel. Take. Drink, eat, or take. Take. Take, take. take this feel. Conversation number two. What? 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 Or why? What? 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 I don't feel better, well, or sick. Wow. Well, okay. wow. Conversation number three. How? Oh. How? Okay. How do you feel today? Not so good. I have. I have. I have, I have sore eyes. In conversation number four. I have a backache. Done. Exercise. Exercise. Doing exercise. And the last one. Um, use or give. Doing exercise and. Use. 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 Okay, let's see if you're right. Yes, you're right. 10 points of 10 points. Excellent. Thanks for helping me to answer my midterm test. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Now let's go with the last. This is the article about home remedies. For a cold, you can drink water or take some honey, put cold clothes on your head. Some people eat hot chicken soup, drink a large glass of warm milk, or take a warm bath. What some people eat hot chicken, chicken soup. soup. Okay, chicken soup. For a cow? You can drink warm tea or you take some honey. Some honey. For a headache? Uh, put a cold put a cold cloud on your head. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, for insomnia. Drink a large glass of warm milk or drink. Okay, yes. Si funciona la leche. Ah, oh, si funciona, okay. But this is a large glass. Tiene que ser un vaso grande. A large glass of warm milk. <laughs> Tiene que ser un vasote de leche. Okay, do you have any question about tonight's class? That was the midterm test. Was it easy or was it difficult? Oh. <laughs> it was easy, teacher. It was easy for you? Bueno, entonces no nos quedaría section four, section five, and the final test. 
So congratulations for the ones who have already completed section three and the meter. Thank you so much for being here with me tonight. If you have any question, um, you can write on the WhatsApp group. And of course, you can start working on section number four and section number five. Ya puede comenzar a trabajar esas secciones en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Without any problem. So okay. thank you so much. Uh, pregunta, um, ¿cuándo termina este módulo? In two weeks. We still have eight class. Okay, thank Nos you. Nos falta ocho clases más. Ocho sesiones. Thank you so much. See you on Monday. Enjoy Mark. your weekend. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.